Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. Today we're going to take our DeWalt 20 volt max cordless grease gun out of the package and check it out. kind of scuffed up that's one thing I can't believe they shipped it just like y'all saw it then I would have thought it would have been in a box or something there's the charger Wow, it's a lot heavier than I was thinking. Just set out the box and get this box out the way. See if the battery's got any charge. Oh yeah. Light. Take this. strong spring on it. I've had a couple people telling me that I need to take the string out. I'm assuming that's got to be the screen that everybody's referring to. All right, what we're fixing to do, we're gonna go ahead and put the battery on charge. So we'll have know the battery's charged up. And what time that's charging, I'm gonna go take care of a few errands around, go hay up and check on the cows and stuff. And I'll be back with y'all here in a few minutes. Let's put the battery on charge. She's charging. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. We back. The battery's full charged. Let's get the grease gun put together and go check it out. See how she works. got the grease put in it let's load it up I'm gonna just try I'm not gonna try to bleed nothing I'm gonna do it just like I do my old one I screw it in till it's just about tight then I'll release the handle push then I'm gonna snug it on up that's how I load my old style grease gun we'll see if that works Let's grab a napkin. Here's one right here. It's already used. Can you see that napkin? Yep. Now I wish the case wasn't in the way again. We'll 
see what it does. Our next thing we might want to get is a lock and lube. Look at that, y'all. Stuck it straight on the hose. Right out the gate. Yeah, the next thing I want to get for this is a locking lube. I don't want to try to mess with that bleeder. I just want to see if it's going to... have to bleed it a little bit. Alright, I heard air so shoot out of it. Let's try it now. Is that even in the camera view? Oh yeah. Alright, that looks like that clear grease, I reckon, is like a packing grease that they put in it. I think that's good to go. It was very simple to bleed. <clears throat> I'll show you in just a second what I've done up under it. I'm gonna mess right around and get it greasy. Right there, that's the little turn screw. I just barely cracked it loose with my finger a while ago and I heard the air, psst, air come out. I just snugged it back my finger and it primed right up. Let's go out here and try to find something to grease and see how she works. We out here at one of the 574s. We're gonna try it out and see how she works. See if I get it grease all over. Right out the gate. Good night, that sucker like still to get on and on. side the same way it's just a habit that we wipe the ends of our grease fittings off I'll pick that back up in a minute She's working good, y'all. Let's find something else to grease. Well, we've done a little bit of greasing with it. Everything works good and it is super fast compared to the old style. But like a bunch of y'all said, don't look like I'm gonna keep it clean like I was thinking and hoping. Well, we're back. We unboxed it, we charged it. Y'all got to go along with us doing a little bit of greasing. And I am happy with the cordless grease gun. Everything works as should. 
Like I said earlier, the next step is getting the locking lube for the end of it and trying to keep it as clean as we can so when we use it, we don't be greasy head to toe. But we'll, I'll do an update on it here probably in the upcoming hay season when we're really using it a lot and give you my thoughts on it after a little more use. But I appreciate all y'all watching and supporting us here at Gerald Farms on YouTube. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you on the next one.